Hello everybody, so today I'm going to um, show you guys how to make a procedural procedural recoil So first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to the uh, to the uh, character skeleton So in the character skeleton we're going to make a virtual bone So before I start doing anything I want to explain that you can use uh, IK bonds. It's doable. It's hundred percent doable. And I'm going to show you at the end of the video how to use uh, IK bonds. So first, if you're going to use the virtual bonds method, uh, first thing uh, you that I want you to see is that if your uh, camera is the child of your mesh, if it is, uh, the virtual bond root is going to be at the uh, head, at the head. At the head bone but if the mesh is the child of the camera um, the virtual bone root is going to be at the uh, root bone so yeah so first thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to make a uh, virtual bones virtual bone for the uh, right hand we're going to call it uh, just root then another virtual bone at the virtual bone root and it's going to be at the right hand again we're going to call it hand underscore r then another virtual bone hand underscore l so you must have something that looks like um You must have something that looks like this. So, um, so now what you're going to do is you're going for to the uh, animation blueprint. You're going to the um, to the functions. We're going to make three functions. So let's just start with this function. So at the local variable, we're going to uh, make re two variables, recoil location and recoil rotation. And then at the variables, we're going to make a final recoil transform and another recoil transform and on no no we don't need another one so now um we're going to take the final recoil transform we're going to get it we're going to split and we're just going to attach the recoil transform rotation to the recoil rotation then we're going to copy and paste this here then we're going to get random floats random float in range you could obviously um, make a vector curve for the um, recoil for the um, recoil animation or the proce procedure recoil animation by using the uh, vector curve but um, I'm not going to uh, do this in this video because I frankly don't know how to do it So, for the x-axis, we're going to look here, and uh, and we can see that the uh, x-axis rotates the character sideways. So we're going to make um, a small number minus one and one. Now for the y-axis, as we can see uh, here, um, the y-axis rotates the gun upwards and downwards. So we're going to um, make something like 5 and 10. Now for the z-axis, as you can see here, it's, it rotates the character left and right. So we're going to make something like 3 and 3. Then, So now we finish the recoil, ro uh, the re recoil rotation. So we can begin at the recoil location, it's like the same setup. 
we're going to get the phone recoil transform attach the location get these attach it to you make make a vector then we're going to attach these here get the recoil location set recoil location attach it here attach it here um then we're going to get the final recoil transform put it here and split the structure bring th this here and this here yeah now we're going to work on the um interpolate gun recoil No, no, or yes, interpolate gun recoil and interpolate final recoil. So, in the interpolate final recoil, we're going to get the final recoil transform, attach it to this, then we're going to get the uh, interpol or T interp to attach it this here. The current is going to be um the final recoil and the target's going to be empty transform um why empty because we want the final recoil transform to always interpolate to zero after each um after after we call it so they can so the gun can rotate then get back to zero so the delta time is going to be world delta seconds and the interpolation speed um yeah, I think five is good. Then in the interpolate gun recoil, we're going to get the recoil transform. Then we're going to get the um. Yeah, we're going to copy this. But instead of the final recoil being the target, I'm uh, being the current. It's going to be the target. Yeah, five is good so now in the event graph we're going to attach the gun recoil here and the final recoil here so now if we get the um oh yeah i forgot so first thing that you want to make is uh an uh a reference for the character's uh, animation blueprint you can get it by going to it by uh dragging your mesh then getting the animation instance then casting it to your character some animation animation blueprint then making an uh, variable uh, animation variable whatever you call it so now we're going to get this here and then we're going to get the gun recoil so as you can see here if I click nothing happens because I forgot to make some make a uh, use um, make something crucial so first thing that you need is going to transform modify bone so I'm going to get the um, recall transform going to uh, split it we're going to attach the location and the rotation then in the bones to modify we're going to use the virtual root here in the translation mode we're going to make it add to existing and the translation space is going to be component space so if i attach it here again yeah nothing happens because i forgot that we are now just um, manipulating the virtual bones. We're not manipulating the FK bones that um, rotate this arm. We're not manipulating this. We're only manipulating this. This. So now if I bring um, two bone IK.
um, in the IK point we are going to get the hand right or hand R and the effect or location space is going to be on um, bone space and the effect or target is going to be the virtual bone hand underscore R take rotation from the vector don't forget it so now as you can see the elbow is now rotating inwards or rota uh, rotated inwards so to fix this you can go to the joint target and choose the parent bone space and the joint target is going to be the lower arm right and you can just make something like this I guess yeah I fixed it yeah this is too much no 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 worries so now if we try to shoot you as you can see it's rotating it's like shooting but the variables but the um but the uh, number so the variable or the rotation is too small or not that much so as you uh, so here we can put minus six and six here I think minus nine and nine here minus no 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 minus ten and fifteen let's see yeah now for the location Yeah, for the y loca y axis location, we're going to just make it minus one, or minus four and four. Yeah, this is better. But we have a problem. The um the left hand does not move with the right hand, so if we just go back to the animation blueprint again we copy this then we change from the hand R to hand L and here to hand L to virtual bone hand L uh, it's going to rotate with it but the elbow Yeah, this is more natural. So, um we finished so you can combine your uh, gun recoil your procedural recoil with uh, uh, an animated one and the result is going to be something good yeah but it's unnoticeable here so let's crank these numbers Yeah, these are just random numbers. Yeah. Yeah, so um, so I finished, but I can make something 
here so if you use a sequence then a gate then another sequence then a retrievable delay Yeah, the animation is just really bad but if you have like a really, uh, good animation you can combine it with the procedural recall to make something uh, look uh, something better than the, um, just a normal animation so uh, I hope you find this video useful um, took me five, oh, 16 minutes to film this video so um, goodbye